Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 11, 11 a.m. Fireside Chat. Thank you so much for joining me, Vicki Meeks Miller, your Community Engagement Manager, on this wonderful Wednesday. It is fe um, February. I've got to move up to the next month, March the 2nd. And it is Ash Wednesday, so um, we are delighted to join you on this beautiful day and occasion. Um, and thank you so much for joining us for the 11, 11 a.m. broadcast for a community engagement update. We've already had a busy week uh, to take place uh, in that um, We've had, uh, of course, Geese Speaks on Monday, in which Ms. Barbara O'Kane, who is a resident right here at Lake Retreat, joined me to talk about her spiritual journey. And it was a very delightful conversation in which um, one of the many things that we gleaned from the conversation was if we seek knowledge and answers, we will find them. And that broadcast is available on the Richfield Living YouTube channel. So if you go um, and you Google YouTube, and once on that page, you Google, or excuse me, you uh, search for Richfield Living, um, that page, our page will um, be provided and you will find those broadcasts, all of which for the 11, 11 a.m. broadcast available. So please um, do so. And also on your dance card this week, uh, the link of, to the YouTube page, the Richfield Living YouTube page, is provided as well. I thank Ms. Barbara once again for such a light, enlightening um, conversation. And um, once again, I certainly invite our residents, invite residents to take part in that wonderful program that allows us to showcase the wonderful and uh, intelligent uh, residents here at Richfield who have so much to offer. So please um, just let me know, give me a call at 540-380-6526 uh, if you would um, like to be so kind to share your story with the Richfield community. Also, um, Chaplain Michelle, um, on her tea and talk on yesterday, um, told us all about all things uh, Mardi Gras. So we uh, learned so much there as we do each Tuesday as Chaplain Michelle, um, she will cover such wonderful uh, subjects and um, help us all in our spiritual knowledge and learning. So that was a wonderful broadcast. She had good music. I tell you, I was um, in my office dancing to the music, and I hope you all were dancing to the music at home um, and here in the studio here. So um, we certainly do thank uh, Chaplain Chaplain Michelle Topi for always enlightening us in such a wonderful way. Um, also, Hand and Foot took place on yesterday, as did Cornhole uh, in the um, Shenandoah Room, um, the, and as well as um, dinner in the Answer Cafe. As has been mentioned, the quill is closed. However, um, dinner is being served in the Answer Cafe with a wonderful menu as well. So um, please be sure to um, visit the, uh, for the dinner specials on Tuesdays and Saturdays um, of each week starting at 4.30 p.m. If you have any questions about um, the menu or would like to make a reservation, please call Dining at 540-283-2822. Chaplain Gary blessed us with devotions on Monday morning as well as this morning, and we'll do so on Friday morning at 9.15 right here on Channel 62. 
Uh, and uh, we certainly do appreciate uh, Chaplain Gary's uh, sharing those spiritual insights with us. And uh, we understand that it is a very wonderful Bible study each uh, day as well. We started our celebration of the Lenten season um, with Ash Wednesday today and the imposition of ashes. Chaplain Michelle um, was here this morning from 10 until 11, um, and then Chaplain Gary will return uh, at, one third, at 1 o'clock, excuse me, p.m., here in the chapel if you would like to partake in the imposition of ashes. So right here in the chapel at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., you may join join Chaplain Gary for the celebration. Now, also today, it's afternoon tea time. So in the quill, complimentary tea sandwiches and flavored sweet and unsweetened teas will be featured. A cash bar um, also that will include wine for only $4 and then beer for only $3. So you may contact Dining once again for information. And that number once again is 540-283-2822. On tomorrow at 10 a.m., it's Bible study time with Chaplain Gary. Uh, so join him right here at 10 a.m. Uh, for Bible study. And um, then the program rebroadcasts here on Channel 62 at 11 a.m. on Saturdays. So please contact Ch Chaplain Gary uh, if you have any questions. And his email address is gkingery, K-I-N-G-E-R-Y, at richfieldliving.com, and he can provide you with information on Bible study, uh, on the devotions, um, as well as Sunday morning service as well. There will be an outing to Tanglewood Mall and lunch at the newest Roanoke uh, restaurant, Chicken Salad Chick, on uh, Thursday. Uh, the bus will leave at 10 a.m., and the cost is only $5, which is non-refundable. If you would like to reserve a seat, please contact Amy at 540-380-4900. That should be a fun time and a beautiful day for such an outing. On uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m., Delicious Gourmet Ice will return to the Oaks Lawn. So this is a fat-free, sugar-free, very refreshing dessert um, that uh, will be provided um, on the Oaks Lawn, so don't miss it. They were here, uh, I think, every Wednesday over the summer last year, and so they will be returning. And if you um, and you'll be able to find them right there on the Oaks Lawn, which is right by the Oaks Assisted Living. On Friday at 10 a.m., the Ink Slingers Creative Writing Club will meet it at 10 a.m. in the Roost 52. If you are interested and would like information, please contact Nancy Valier at email address s i'm sorry snow nancy at gmail.com um, one of uh, nancy's articles will be featured in the Fe in the february slash march uh, edition of the newsletter so the uh, ink slingers are doing great things right here on campus then at 11, 11 a.m. on Friday, and every first Friday of the month, uh, we will have the Physical Well Power Fireside Chat with Susan Bryant right here on Channel 62. So please join us here. Uh, that broadcast is replayed on YouTube as well. 
And so uh, Susan will be covering some upcoming events. So please be sure to join her on this coming Friday, uh, March the 4th at 1111. Then at 1 o'clock p.m., the Needlers Club will meet in the club of the villas. <laughs> so um, if, you are, uh, if you are interested in anything that involves needles, needlework, uh, that can be uh, crocheting, knitting, uh, needlepoint, um, all kinds of wonderful craft, craft um, uh, interests uh, are explored in the club meeting at 1 p.m. on on Friday in the club at the Villas. Um, for information, please contact Nancy Dyerly at B as in boy, N as in Nancy, Dyerly, D-E-Y-E-R-L-E -E -E, at AOL.com. Then at 1.30 p.m., the Bridge Club uh, meets. I, I, I believe they will be meeting this week, well, in the Shenandoah Room. That's where um, I believe they will be meeting. Um, however, um, if you have any questions, please contact Nancy Bonomo. I tell you, the Nancys have it. At N as in Nancy, J as in John, Bonomo, B as in boy, O, N, O, M, O, at AOL.com. Then, of course, on Saturday, um, the Answer Cafe dinner special starts at 4.30 p.m., and it will, the menu will include smothered chicken with honey mustard, mushrooms, sliced ham, sliced ham and um, various cheeses, baked tilapia with shrimp in a, wine, in a white wine and lemon sauce, or a French dip sandwich. Of course, you can contact Dining for reservations and information, again, at 283-2822. Uh, Sunday service with Chaplain Gary at um, 10 a.m. here in the chapel and on Channel 62. Um, and of course, um, the Sunday brunch buffet will start at 11 a.m. in the Answer Cafe. Um, this buffet will include orange buttermilk pancakes, pork bacon, roasted honey, Dijon salmon, Sweet peas and caramelized shallots, scallops, excuse me, scalloped potatoes, not scallops, but scalloped potatoes, spinach salad with strawberries, and lemon meringue pie, along with your beverage for only $10.99. Um, please be sure to um, co contact Dining to RSVP. Um, once again, 283-2822. And reservations are uh, suggested and required for large groups. Yes, so have lots going on um, this week. Uh, we also have the March Madness Challenge that started on Tuesday. Um, add some exercise with this year's college basketball tournament um, with our new March Madness Exercise Challenge. In this challenge, you'll participate uh, in each exercise matchup across all rounds. So there is a packet of information that not only includes uh, the brackets of exercise in which you will participate, but it also provides um, instructional material on how to complete each one of the exercises. So a special thanks to Logan Edwards, who developed this very creative um, approach and challenge for us to uh, explore and enjoy this month. Um, Logan joined me on the 11.11 a.m. fireside chat uh, last week. 
and explained it, and it is a, a wonderful way to get your exercise in each day in March, which is going, you'll see the benefits right away. By April, you'll be swelt swift and swift and all of those things so we look forward to you all participating and finding out um, how you all did at the end of the month therefore we um, hope that you will enjoy and get out and uh, enjoy these wonderful events get out and, and enjoy this wonderful weather we have other um, great events that will be coming up I will um, let you in on a little secret because we have had residents who've asked about line dancing for some time now. And um, I am working on getting that in the works for us and I'll be um, contacting those residents to get you all involved. And if you are interested in helping um, to uh, facilitate line dancing events and fun, please contact me at 540 Three eight zero six five two six. In addition, um, we'll have a digital photography class coming up as well, so you'll be getting information on that. Also, lots of wonderful things in the works as we look forward to spring, and I'm thankful that things are opening up. Our numbers in our area are low, and we are so thankful for the opportunity to just get together and put the unity back in community. Finally, from the Jar of Awesomeness today, as we celebrate Women's History Month in the month of March, um, our quote comes from Ruth Bader, the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and it states, my mother told me to be a lady. And for her, that meant be your own person and be independent. So that is certainly the goal for um, women and all of us here in the community. We continue to promote holistic wellness so we can continue to enjoy um, independent living and life here at Richfield Living. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I look forward to um, sharing more information in celebration of women's history, as well as um, celebrating National Nutrition Month, which is also in the month of March. So thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you'll continue to enjoy your day, your week, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, and bye-bye.